Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel! My channel! Peter! Peter! Boom, 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 bam, 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 bam! <laughs> review stuff and I am back for another review. Did you guys miss me? It has been so long. I think it's been like nine days since I've made a video over here. And truth be told, I just, I haven't had a lot of things to review. So, woo, my neighbor dog is barking. So in the last couple days, I have started putting together a list of some things that I already have here that I can review. And then I'm going to go to the store and try to find some things to review as well. Um, but something that I purchased that I showed in an unboxing, I think I showed it in an unboxing um, on my Peter Does Stuff channel. I wanted to show this to you guys because, and I wanted to do a review of it because I'm just so absolutely obsessed with this. And I have to tell you, that um, I, I spent all last night trying the last four kinds. And so what that is, is this variety pack of Maud's tea. But let me tell you the story before we get into this, okay? So, I love coffee and tea. I think most people know that by now. And um, when I was a little kid, Long before I drank coffee, I drank tea. I was real into like, I don't know how to explain it, but I like to watch a lot of Sherlock Holmes movies. And I like to watch a lot of like English PBS like movies. Like I loved this Christmas movie called Box of Delights. And there was something about like tea in all of these movies. And so I would drink a lot of tea when I was a kid. And I loved tea. And there was this sassafras tea that came in a bottle that I used to love. And um, so I was kind of like, a weirdly obsessed with tea and I kind of go in and out of phases of drinking tea. I, I, I enjoy tea a lot, but I'm mostly a coffee drinker, right? So anyway, one of my favorite coffees of life, well, okay, so my husband and I, we go to this restaurant on Sundays called Cafe Patashu in Indianapolis. It's like our favorite place to go for brunch. And every week they have like the Patashu blend, the Patashu de decaf blend, and then they have a flavored coffee, okay? And they often have caramel. Now Alex's best friend, Sarah, her favorite coffee is the coconut cream. They have all different kinds, okay? Frangelica, I'm trying to think of chocolate, whatever, you know, hazelnut, all that kind of stuff. My favorite is the blueberry crumble. And if you watch my blog, you know that that's my favorite, okay? So I don't know why it took me so long to like figure this out. But one night I was ordering K-Pods on um, Amazon. I Every once in a while I just get on Amazon and I order K-Pods. And I ordered these mods. I looked up blueberry K-Pods, or coffee K-Pods. And I found the this brand called Mods, okay? And it is called Blueberry Fields Forever. And I tried it, and it was absolute. Now, I will tell you, Joanne has sent me two boxes of another brand, a blueberry, cinnamon blueberry crumble, and it's delicious as well. But this holds its own. So I was like, oh my God, I am so obsessed with this, okay? And I have to tell you what is so interesting about this is, if you're somebody that orders K-Pods on Amazon, they can get really expensive, like super expensive, like $30, $40 for like 12 K-Pods. It's ridiculous. And Mods K-Pods are really inexpensive. And she has a website too, which I will link below because I just got done looking at it and I'm gonna talk about it in just a second, okay? But then I was like wanting some tea. I was wanting some like herbal tea. And I thought, you know, uh, what different kinds of tea can I have and whatever. And so I got online and I looked and I found Maud's tea and I bought Maud's tea Smile for the Chamomile. Organic tea with lavender and it's, caffeine. it's chamomile with uh, lavender, okay? Which a lot of people are like, oh, that sounds so gross to have lavender in it. It is so fantastic. I have to tell you right now, this is my hands down favorite herbal tea of life and it is decaffeinated and I just, I love everything about it. It is so good. I would highly, 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 highly recommend. I, okay, first of all, I'm just going to tell you. So between the, well, in the last week, I've drank most of these teas, but in the, the last 24 hours, I drank the last four that I hadn't tried because I kind of had some of my favorites, you know? So anyway, this so hands down of all of them that I've tried so far is my favorite, the Smile for the Chamomile. And they all of them have real cute names to them too, which I'm like, 
Listen, you can get me for like, you know, cute packaging, a cute, all of that kind of cutesy cutesy stuff I love. So anyway, so I love that, okay? Well, then I wanted to order another one of her teas, but I didn't know which one to try. And I was going to try like an Earl Grey or like a breakfast tea or something like that. But I was like, ah, I don't know if I'm going to like more of an herbal tea or more of like this. Like, you know, sometimes, oh, this is what had happened was I had ordered, I think, did I order those all at the same time? I can't remember. But anyway, uh, sometimes when you order like the, these kind of big cases of one flavor, you'll get it. And if you go watch my, oh, I did. I did all of my K-Pod unboxings. That's where I showed all this, okay? But when you order like one of these, and this happened to me on that K-Pod unboxing, I ordered two different th things of tea, not this brand, not mods, different brands, but I ordered hibiscus tea and another tea, and they're gross. They're grody down, okay? I don't want them. They're, they're nasty. So anyway, and that happens. And so I got on Amazon and I was looking and I put in Maud's tea and it came up with this variety box. Okay. And I was like, here you can see it says Maud's organic tea on the side. And then over here it has, and I thought, oh, this is perfect because it has eight different flavors in it. And then I can try the eight different flavors and I can pick which ones are my favorite and I can try those. Right. So this came in the mail and I cannot tell you how excited I was, okay? So over the last week, I have tried all of the eight flavors, which I have right here. Here, I'm gonna need a little bit of a thumbnail, don't I? Okay, so over the last week, I have them all right here lined up for you. I wanna talk about each of these brand or each of these flavors because I love each of these flavors. So. Um, let me see where to start. Okay, so the first one I'm going to talk about is Royally Good English Breakfast Tea, okay? First of all, the thing about all of Maud's teas, and I don't know if it's a her or what, but all of the teas are so smooth and so delicious. They're not, like, overly strong. So, like, even the English Breakfast Tea is not, like, so strong. It's just, like, a delightful tea, and I really, really liked it. I have to tell you, like, of, um, and I'm going to... There's a couple of these that I'm going to be ordering like full boxes of, and this is definitely one of them. And it was just absolutely delicious. All of these, there is not one of these teas that I tried that I didn't like. There's one of them that was not my favorite, but I would say out of five, I would give it a four out of five, but the rest of them I probably all give fives. So there's Royal, um, Royally Good English Breakfast Tea, which is absolutely delicious as a breakfast tea. Then there's uh, the Passion Green with Envy Tea, which is just like a green tea. And I've been drinking this after dinner or after I've been eating because, you know, they say it's good to eat, you know, drink green tea after dinner. The thing is, I don't necessarily always love green tea because I feel like it's really, really strong. But this one is so good, you guys. It really is. It doesn't taste sugary or sweeter. It just tastes like green tea. There's nothing fancy about these teas, okay? And that's what I think I kind of love about it is there's, it's not, they're not trying to be something that they're not they're just just delightfully really good they're just it's really it's like when you know you're good at something and you don't try to stray or be something more than you are that's what these teas are they're just fantastic so the next one is uh the dazzling jasmine green tea which is just jasmine tea and i really liked this one um you know it has a little bit more of a fruity flavor to it i didn't mind it i tried this on the heels of the hibiscus tea and i thought it was really really good i really was impressed with it. You know, the other thing is when I started drinking tea K-Pods on uh, the Keurig, I was really worried, and I don't know why, that like, you know, it makes good coffee, but I was worried that it wouldn't make strong tea, and it really makes fantastic tea. It really, really does. So that one's good. And then, the, and I'm really just kind of showing these to you. I loved all of them. The ne oh, this was the one that I, I was my four out of five. And that was the Meet Your Matcha Green Tea. Now, I have to tell you, okay, I'm not, like, I used to love matcha smoothies back in the day. But I am not a big, huge, like... I used to like matcha tea. I'm not so much a matcha tea drinker anymore. But I will say this, that you know when you drink matcha tea and it kind of has like an aftertaste to it? This does not. This is another smooth tea. It tastes very similar to the green tea to me, but it has the matcha flavor. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was just when I was drinking it because I was trying them last night while I was watching uh, Triangle of Sadness. I'm trying to get all the Oscar movies done. And I just was kind of like, ah, I don't know. Like, this isn't my favorite. And so I went on to the next one. Spiced Cha Cha Chai Tea. I have to tell you, 
I did not know what to expect when I tried this, and I'm sometimes kind of like, depending on the day, like I don't drink a lot of chai tea during the summer because I feel like it's kind of like a fall winter drink. So depend, and it's not summer obviously, but depending on when I drink it, like I either love it or hate it. This is so good, you guys. It's not strong. It's not super spicy. Like, that's what I say. Like, all of these are, like, really, really delightfully good. They're, they're not, like, overwhelming, you know? And I'm just, they're fantastic, all of them. And then Smile for the Chamomile, which I already talked about. Um, and if you're going to try one and you like herbal tea, I would definitely, definitely tell you to try Smile for the Chamomile, okay? And you can find all of these on Amazon. It's Mods, M-A-U-D-S. Um, and just put Mods Coffee, Mods Teapots. And I will tell you, they're the cheapest ones on there compared to other things, even Folgers. Um, and then there's Uncle Earl's Going Gray Tea. And I loved this one just as much as I loved the breakfast tea. It was just a really good standard tea. I loved it. And then the last one is the peppermint patty tea. Now, I have to tell you, like, kind of like the matcha, like, I don't know what I was expecting from this. This wasn't a really strong peppermint tea. Um, I think I was expecting this to be more kind of like the chamomile tea or the chamomile tea. Um, and it was just like a really nice peppermint tea. Um, I wouldn't say that it was my favorite. I probably wouldn't order a box of it though. If I was gonna order a box of the chamomile, I would order a box of the chamomile or the jasmine over this. So there you go. All right, so that's all of those. Now I did wanna tell you guys about the website because I looked up the website today because I wanted to see about it. And they absolutely have the cutest website in the entire world, okay? I should actually look on here and see if it says about or anything on here. Does it say about? It doesn't say anything about. But um, hold on a second. Mods Coffee and Tea. And when you go to it, we're bringing you some delicious blends for our blend of the week. And these are the, th the different things that they sell over there. Coffee pods, ground coffee, tea pods, espresso pods, instant coffee, tea, and broth. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, cold brew, hot co cocoa, hot cocoa pods, and cap cappuccino pods. And then just some of their new and popular pods that they have. I'm your Huckleberry Coffee. Mods Spiced Cha-Cha Chai Latte, Mods Chocolate Cold Brew, um, Mods Coney Island Cotton Candy. Oh, that might be kind of fun to get that. Um, that's flavored coffee. And then they have the Mods Super, and here, I just wanna give you an example, okay? Mods Super Flavored Coffee Pods Variety Pack, 16 blends. You get 80 pods for 39.50, which is 49 cents a pod. It, I mean, it to me is unbelievable, right? Okay, and then the Chick Chick Hooray Chicory Coffee, Blueberry Fields Forever, that was one of the newer ones, Vanilla Caramel Cold Brew, and then they have Mods Flavored Hot Chocolate Variety Pack, 48 pods, 3260. You can also get a lower count on these, and still, they have decaf coffee, Kona Roast, and espresso yourself. <laughs> Um, and a classic black cold brew, and it just goes on and on and on. So I will put Maud's um, link to the website as well over there. And I just have to tell you guys, I really wanted to share this with you because I'm so impressed with this tea and coffee, and I just absolutely love it. And so if you're looking for, a, you know, a, a good solid tea, well, and coffee, I, just, I the only coffee of hers that I've tried is the blue, I think, is the Blueberry Fields. So, um... If you're looking for a really good tea, this is where it's at. Anyway, I love you guys, and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.